Okay. If you found it in your pocket, it must suck. Oh, right. Jiminy Cricket's a thing. Yeah. Man, he's uh, he's had a really big impact on this game so far, right? Eh? He had pretty much the same amount of impact in the first one. I don't even remember seeing him. He's just the journal guy. He shows up when you see Pinocchio a little bit, so in Man, Monstro. your drive is at max three. Yep. And that's why I like attack, because it helps with the dual wielding and also the drive a little bit. Although you can do either a magical drive or a, an attack-based one. So you're like blue for the magic and red for attack. I wanted to dress as Sora once. Yeah? Did you? No. Why not? Uh, cause it would have cost too much in hair gel. <laughs> I think Leon was a better choice, cause all I had to do was like slick my bangs a little bit to keep them straight. It was actually really nice having short hair. I might go back to it. I thought you couldn't. Yeah, not until I go to Comic Con, which will be probably never. We'll see. I think you'd look good with shorter hair. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, I have been like trimming it, but... But just to keep it healthy? Yeah. I don't want to donate it, so I'll wait until I can go to Comic-Con with Frank. Although I don't know if I want to dress as Harley Quinn anymore. Why? I don't know. It seems like probably a lot of people would dress up as her. A lot of people do dress up as Harley Quinn. But she really wants to be Poison Ivy, but like... Professor Ivy or whatever. Oh, I see. So it's like I would need to be Harley Quinn to... Have her make sense. <sighs> That's a pain in the ass. Because I was like, well, what if I go with Harley and Quinzel? And she's like, then nobody would get anything. And I'm like, yeah, I guess we're just two people in lab coats. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> so it's like one of us would need to be in full. <clears throat> yeah, I, I, I always kind of like, I'm not big in, in actually getting into the point where I dress up. But when I do, I want it to be like pretty pretty creative or interesting like yeah not um, necessarily like really intricate but just like yeah. an interesting twist on it our high school did a cool thing where um uh they did dry grad right yeah um and uh they tried to make a pretty good event of it mm -hmm. so like they try to hire a hypnotist and uh they pick a theme and so um from for our dry grad it was um uh B book characters right so like a few of the uncreative jocks were their fucking batman and robin costumes from halloween and they're like it's a comic book <laughs> um and then there was a cheshire cat and like nice. uh the friend of mine who plays the hop played the hobbit he went as, as frodo nice um uh you know that kind of thing I went as uh, as Rincewind from the Discworld series. Cool. So what did so, that entail? It it pretty much entailed uh, a wide brimmed wizard hat with a bunch of stars and the uh, the misspelling of the word wizard on it, and um, and mom helped me out a lot. She uh, got some like um, iron on like sparkly paper. And so we ironed on all the stars and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then I had a cloak that had more of that on it that was all torn up because he goes on a lot of really ad adventures that where he gets fucked over. And uh, and yeah, so I looked like a like a raggedy adventurer. Hmm. Awesome. Yeah. For stuff like that, like it, the fact that it was books, it would be probably pretty hard for people to guess what you were. Yeah. That could have been the kind of time where you throw on a... Uh, like a name tag. Yeah. Like, but when I first read Harry Potter, I kind of forgot, like, I didn't know the information about people. So I dressed up as Hermione and I had, like, gray hair. Gray hair? Yeah. And then everyone's like, Hermione doesn't have gray hair. Why don't you just have your regular hair? Like, that would have been fine. <laughs> <laughs> just be like, because I wanted to. Well, it's because, like, I already had a hat with gray hair on it and I just, like, didn't think to tuck the hair in or yeah, anything. Yeah, okay. So the game is still not really started. <laughs> um, Here's Chippendale. Have they have they always been the gummy engineers? Yeah. Atreyu. <laughs> hmm. What's well, Hollow Bastion? Uh, you go there in, at the end of the first game. So it's just kind of another in betweener. It's, it's the world that um, the Final Fantasy characters say they're from. Oh, it's Pete the Feet. <laughs> So now people know what you're talking about when, yep. uh, when, yep. when you make that joke. 
Yeah, I, I talked, I said all of that shit just so I could call Pete, Pete the Feet. And have people get it? I don't care if they get it, I just wanted to say it. I'm feeling outshined, 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 outshined. <laughs> oh, I thought the bird was going to hit him in the ass. <laughs> the bird's pretty cranky. I always thought that bird was such an asshole. He's way more of an asshole in the movie. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Because he does that, like, that, like, tuck and point up grin. Oh, uh, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thing that he does? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Not that you couldn't see me, audience, but I did a thing that Aaron saw. And it was quite impressive, but it will never be captured again. Oh, there's a moogle. Moo, moo, moo goo guy pan. Kung pao chicken. Yes, we're going to meet up with everyone. Sweet sour pork. It's just like, I think it's probably going to take us about seven hours to actually get into the game. <clears throat> Are you serious? Yep. What's for dinner? Soup. No, no. Oh, uh, it's been fucked up. Have we already seen Leon? No. He's fine. Oh, yeah, he did show up at some point, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, he was like chatting with Aerith. Yeah. Aerith. <laughs> Aerith the third. It's so weird because it's only in Final Fantasy VII did they call her Aerith. Every other iteration says Aerith. So it's really, really frustrating. Because it's like, I grew up knowing her as Aerith, but everyone else is. Everyone, everyone else. else Everyone else says it's Aerith. And I was like, I don't even know. Look, I found something. Who said that? There's like way more collectibles in this than uh. Than in the other one. Yeah. The other town. No, I just mean the. Do 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 do. This music is serious because we're worried about something that's happening. And now I control all the listeners. <laughs> We've been watching a lot of. Dr. You will vote for so me that's in the election. I've been talking about it. I, I I have the I have the problem with um, like sci-fi shows where it's like she's she's pretty much just showing me the David Tennant, although she wants to show me the guy before it. Yeah. Um, he's pretty cool. But Chris Eccleston. Like, I'm the kind of guy who'll get stuck wanting to watch all of it, and I'll go back and I'll watch the original stuff, and I'll be like. I don't think it's as good. I don't want to watch it. And I'm like, too bad. Because it's, you know, it's just my problem. So wait, you're going to want to go back to like original, original Doctor Who? We'll see. Because I don't know if I would have the patience. Exactly. It's so cheesy, dude. It's so cheesy. I think I started watching one of the movies and I was like, no. See, that's the thing is like, you're, uh, you're like, you've already given up and I haven't even tried. Well, I mean, I'll try. It's just essentially like the diehard fans watch everything. But the regular fans don't. I don't like being a regular fan of anything. Well, I don't want to be a creepy ass, like, super obsessed Oh, fan. nice. One of my favorite characters. Is he? I really like Uncle Scrooge. He's awesome. We should play DuckTales. I have it. On NES. What? I have it on NES. DuckTales, woo! Seriously? Did you think we had to buy it and download it for... Yeah. Like, I thought we had to buy the remake. Yeah, no, I have it on NES, bro. It's right, it's right next to the dragon... The dragon warrior that's sticking out. Weird. So he's trying to make his favorite ice cream. Um, what was it that I was saying that the that the uh, original voice actor for Scrooge McDuck still did? Like, did he come back for for Kingdom Hearts three? Is that what I was talking talking to you about? I don't know. There was something that he did a voice in, and he's like, he's old. He's like in his nineties or some shit. The guy who did who did Scrooge in in Disney's Christmas Carol is the same guy. Scrooge has never been done by anybody else. But he's old. He's in his 90s, I think. Wow. 